lovelies welcome to Shelly's kitchen today we will be making baked crab legs and shrimp first I went ahead and added some old base seasoning and now I just added the garlic powder along with the sazan make sure the season is getting on both sides of the crab I went ahead and I added some allspice seasoning. Some people call it pimento seed. It's the same thing. I did go ahead and add some thyme and scallion and now I'm on the rubbing process. Make sure to rub it in thoroughly so that the seasoning can be all over the crab on both sides. Once you're done rubbing in all that seasoning, make sure you cover it with some foil paper and place it in the refrigerator so that it can marinate overnight. So now I'm starting my shrimp process and these are all the seasoning I use. So the first thing I added was two tablespoons of Old Bay seasoning, one tablespoon of all-purpose seasoning, two packets of sazan, a tablespoon of garlic powder, I also added a medium chopped onion with some thyme and pimento seeds, three to four tablespoons of distilled white vinegar. Guys, this was a two pound packet of uncooked shrimp. Okay, lovelies, I rubbed everything in thoroughly and now I'm gonna place it in the refrigerator to be marinated overnight. Now lovelies, it's time to cook. Obviously, the first thing I did was I took it from the refrigerator and I placed it in the oven, in the middle rack, which the oven was preheated at 400 degrees. I'm gonna make it cook for like 30 to 40 minutes. By the way, I added two sticks of butter to the crab and also I put two sticks of butter to the shrimp, which I started cooking the shrimp immediately after I put the crab in the oven. I'm making the shrimp cook for 10 minutes. Make sure within five minutes of cooking time to stir the shrimp to make sure it's not sticking to the pot and let it remain cooking for the balance of the five minutes. At this time, which is halfway through the cooking time of the crab, you want to make sure you flip it to the opposite side. Okay guys, so this is the final product of the shrimp. Now we are waiting to add it to the crab. Okay guys, now we're gonna add the shrimp. This is the most exciting part of it. Make sure to get the shrimp juice all over the crab cause guys, this is a finger licking dish. <laughs> Okay guys, so now we're done adding the shrimp. You're gonna go ahead and cover it with your foil paper and let it stay there and cook for the balance of the 15 minutes. Okay guys, this is what it looks like at the end. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and don't forget to leave a comment